All right, so here in this example, we need to find the derivative of the function 2x minus 5 multiplied by 7x cubed minus 3x squared. And the first thing I want to talk about is why we need to use the product rule. And the simple answer to this question is because we have a product. Anytime we have two things being multiplied with each other, we have to use the product rule to take the derivative. And notice how we do have two things being multiplied with each other. We have the 2x minus 5 being multiplied with the 7x cubed minus 3x squared. So let's use the product rule to take the derivative of this function. So the first thing I like to do is to label our two things being multiplied with each other. So I'm going to label the 2x minus 5 our first thing, and the 7x cubed minus 3x squared I'll label as our second thing being multiplied. And now we can use the product rule formula to take the derivative of this function. And the product rule formula is the first thing multiplied times the derivative of the second plus the derivative of the first multiplied times the second. And the only thing we have to do is plug in our first thing of 2x minus 5 everywhere we see first. And we can plug in our second thing of 7x cubed minus 3x squared every time we see second. All right, so now we just need to simplify this as much as possible. So I'll start by taking the derivative of 7x cubed minus 3x squared. Uh, the derivative of 7x cubed is 21x squared, and the derivative of negative 3x squared is equal to negative 6x. And if we move to the right, now we can take the derivative of 2x minus 5. Uh, the derivative of 2x is just 2. The derivative of negative 5 is equal to 0. So this just simplifies to 2. All right, so now we have to do a little bit of algebra to simplify this even further. Uh, the first thing I'll do is distribute the 2x minus 5 with the 21x squared minus 6x. If we FOIL and multiply all of these terms together, we get 42x cubed minus 12x squared minus 105x squared plus 30x. And if we keep moving to the right, we can multiply the 2 with the 7x cubed minus 3x squared. Uh, 2 times 7x cubed is equal to 14x cubed. 2 times negative 3x squared is equal to negative 6x squared. All right, so now at this point, let's combine our like terms. Uh, first, let's combine our x cubed terms. We have 42x cubed and 14x cubed. 42 plus 14 is equal to 56x cubed. And we can also combine our x squared terms. We have negative 12x squared, negative 105x squared, and we have negative 6x squared. Negative 12 minus 105 minus 6 is equal to negative 123x squared. And last but not least, we can't forget about our 30x, which just stays the same. And at this point, we are almost finished, but we can still simplify this even further. And notice how all of the terms in our derivative have at least one x in common. So we can factor out an x, and inside of the parentheses, each term will have one less x. So we'll have 56x squared minus 123x plus 30. This is the solution and the derivative to our function. So I hope this gave you a better understanding of the product rule. If you want to keep on learning, check out my next video. And once again, if you need any extra help, I do offer live tutoring and homework solutions. The link is in the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.